All right, jumping right in here to our next unit. Our next unit is called <coughs> Systems of Equations. Um, we've done equations before. We're now going to get into systems, which we'll define in a minute. Our first learning target, though, is just to determine if a point is a solution to a system. So to better understand that, let's get to our definitions here. Um, a system of linear equations means two or more linear equations. Really, we're just going to talk about two, okay? And they share variables. They have the same variables. So if we're talking about two businesses that are talking or that are um, comparing the same sales to the same profits kind of a thing, um, there, it's just two or more lines, if you want to think about it really plainly. A solution is if these two linear equations intersect, if they cross, um, that point is the point of intersection is called the solution to a system. It's also a point that makes both equations true, okay, or that, that fits in both equations, and that's what we're going to look at today. So why don't you pause the video and get those vocab terms down, and then we're going to take a look at some examples. So we're asked to determine if a, the set of points, or the, the point, is um, a solution to a system. So here we have three points and six equations. Um, each of these points, obviously, as you guys already know, have an x and a y value. We're given x, y, x, y, x, y. Okay, so if this point is the solution to the, these, um, or this system, then if we put x into both of these equations, we'll get this y for both of these equations. Okay, um, so to determine that, we just simply do it. Okay, we're going to take this x value and put it in to both equations for the x, and then we're going to see if we get this y value for both y. All right, so it's just kind of some plug and chug here. So our, we're going to see, and I'm going to do it right away, we're going to see if point 2 equals 47 plus 3 times negative 15.6. Okay, so that's the first one. Um, and let's go ahead and see if that's true. So 3 times negative... 15.6 is going to give us 15.6, and I'll just make it negative, 40, negative 46.8. So, so point 0.2 is going to equal 47 plus negative 46.8. That was my, that was my difference there. And so 47 minus 46.8 is point 0.2. So point 0.2 equals point 0.2. So this is correct. This point, the, all that tells us, though, is that this point lies on this line. Okay, it's one of the solutions for this line. Now, is it the solution for both? Okay, so in a different color here, we'll check number two. So number two, does point two also equal eight plus point five times negative 15.6? All right, so... 0.5 times negative 15.6, that's just going to be half of it, which is 7.8, so a negative 7.8. So 0.2 equals 8 plus a negative 7.8, and look at that, 8 minus 7.8 is 0.2. So again, 0.2 equals 0.2. That means this point lies on both of those lines. That means this point is a solution to this system. Those two lines um, intersect at this point. So it is a solution. All right, moving on. Now we have an equation given in standard form, which you guys know, and slope intercept form. We're just going to do the same thing. We're going to take this y and plug it in to both equations, and we're going to take this x and plug it into both equations, okay? So, <coughs> um, we'll start number one. Two times a negative four plus 23, is that gonna equal 15? Well, two times a negative four is negative eight plus 
23 equals 15. Yep, that's going to be the case because 23 minus 8 equals 15, so 15 equals 15. So that works. So it is a point on the first line. That's good. Now, is it a point on the second line? We'll look at number 2. Um, does 23 equal 12 plus negative 4? All right, because that's our x. So 23, does that equal 12 plus negative 4? Well, 12 plus negative 4 is 8. That does not equal. So this is not a solution. All right, so if it, it can work for one of them. That just means that this point lies on this line, but it doesn't lie on this line. It's not a solution to this equation. All right, so one more to check here. Um, will this x put into both equations um, give us the y of 12.3? Will that go there? And again, we have one in standard form and one in slope intercept form. So here we'll do number one. So does 12, number 1, does 12.3 equal 4.5 plus 5 times 2? So does 12.3 equal 4.5 plus 10? Well, no, because 12.3 does not equal 14.5. So we have a not equal there. And we don't actually have to do anything else because we know it doesn't it doesn't fit that equation. It's not on that line. So right away we can say that is not a solution. All right. So here's, this is kind of the basic premise of learning target one is plug and chug. Does that point fit both equations? Remember, it has to fit both because this is an example where it fits one but not the other. Okay. So there are some... Um, Actually, no, there's not um, for, any, for any special cases for this one. So before class, you're just asked to determine if this set of points, if 1.5, the x value, and 0.5, the y value, satisfies both of these equations. Try that out.